Russia and the old Soviet Union have many great water networks, each of which contain their own legends and mysterious encounters, perhaps none more so than Lake Baikal, which was at the center of one of the most intriguing and disturbing incidents involving other life forms on record. An encounter which unfolded during the early 1980s was said to have left several Russian military divers dead It remains of interest to researchers almost half a century later. Do 10-foot aliens reside under the icy waters of Lake Baikal? Said to be the oldest and deepest lake in the world, with depths of around 5,000 feet in places, Lake Baikal is, on the surface, a place of beauty and serenity. Close to the border of Mongolia and southeastern Siberia, these ancient waters contain plant and animal life not seen anywhere else on the planet. It is also, however, a location with a long history of strange going-ons, including many UFO sightings being reported over or near the water. This has led many UFO researchers to ponder whether a subaquatic alien base might exist deep under the icy waters of Lake Baikal. In the summer of 1982, during routine military training, Soviet Navy divers witnessed one of these bizarre objects for themselves and reported it to their superiors. According to leaked documents by Vladimir Azaza, a former Soviet Navy officer, Navy commanders tracked and monitored several strange vehicles navigating the waters of the lake over the course of several days. However, it was during a diving exercise when arguably one of the most dramatic encounters unfolded. At a depth of around 150 feet, divers witnessed several bizarre humanoid creatures swimming beneath them, each at least 10 feet tall. Not only did these humanoid figures not have any visible breathing equipment, but each wore only a thin, skin-tight silver suit and spherical helmet, despite the icy conditions of the water. The divers watched the curious entities for several minutes before disappearing into the depths below. After reporting the incident, a decision was made to send a diving unit back beneath the waters of the lake, only this time, the orders were to capture one of the 10-foot aquatic humanoids. A team of seven divers went on the mission, and after descending below the icy surface, several of the tall creatures appeared once more. They were heading toward the diving unit, seemingly out of curiosity rather than hostility. However, when they were close enough, one of the divers unleashed a large net in an attempt to trap one of them. It was a decision that would cost three of the divers their lives and cause serious injury to the others. Although it is uncertain exactly what happened, Almost instantly after throwing the net, something sent the divers rushing to the surface of the water at around 50 feet into the air. It appeared as though some kind of sonar wave weapon was used by the humanoid entities in order to repel the divers' attempts to capture them. According to some researchers, several local fishermen witnessed the encounter, telling how they saw the divers being sent suddenly upwards out of the lake and high into the air. It is said that four of the men were so badly injured due to having been forced to the surface so quickly that they required immediate treatment in a decompression chamber. However, only one such chamber in the region was in working order and it only accommodated two people. The superior of the mission, however, ordered that the four men should be put in the chamber together. Whether as a result of this decision or not, three of the men died a short time later. Interestingly, Several weeks previously in May, a military search team was operating in the woodland regions of Voronezh after an MIG fighter jet had disappeared the previous evening. As they entered a clearing in the forest, they witnessed a humanoid figure around 10 feet tall and dressed in a tight-fitting silver suit, an almost identical description to humanoids witnessed in Lake Baikal by the diving team. The figure immediately turned and ran into the trees, a moment later, a loud boom and a corresponding flash of light drew the search unit's attention to a glowing object rising high into the sky, disappearing into the distance within seconds. Whether that creature and those witnessed in Lake Baikal are connected is not known, much like what became of the 10-foot-tall humanoid entities that had drawn the attention of the Soviet military in Lake Baikal in the first place. Their interest in them, though, didn't end there. 